Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to everyone. So we are back in uh, our chapter four for pure blending. In this, uh, we are going to do uh, one question for our tutorial. Uh, questions where we are given a steel bar of twenty times sixty four millimeter of rectangular cross section, and it is subjected to two equal and opposite couples basically we are going to have a pure bending problems acting in the vertical plane of the symmetry of the bar so we have determine the value of the bending moment m that causes the bar to yield so we need to find the bending moment m and we are given the yield stress sigma y equal to 248 megapascal okay so we have a rectangular cross section therefore we know that the neutral axis are going to pass through the centroid of this uh, cross section area and therefore we can say that the distance from the neutral axis to the the upper or the bottom surface would be half from the height which is 32 so we know that this is going to be the value of c and uh, 20 millimeter will be the breadth or the base 64 millimeter are going to be the height yes. okay so <coughs> okay let's move a bit okay um next we need to find uh, the moment of initia so the centroidal which is i uh, will be given by the equation of the moment of initia of a rectangle so from our previous video we know that i is equal to b h over 12 and we can just substitute the value b is 20 millimeter h is 64 millimeter power of 3 over 12 and calculate using your calculator and you are going to get 436.91 exponential 3 millimeter over 4 so we get the value of i and next what we have to do is to solve for the bending moment m so to solve for the m okay uh, we just need to substitute the data that we have from above and we knew, we use the equation that we had learned where m is equal to the moment of inertia times the maximum stress sigma m divided by c okay, the distance from the maximum distance from the neutral axis where sigma m are going to be the maximum stress in this case we are going to use the value of sigma y and we can just replace all the value we should get uh, 436.91 okay remember to stay constant with the unit i'm going to stay with millimeter sigma is going to stay with uh, megapascal okay and c the distance are going to be in millimeter so millimeter and megapascal we should get the final answer is 3.386 newton meter okay so this is just uh, one simple example for bending moment um, that's it we are going to continue with our next video